Okay, welcome back to the second session of the environment, environment and arts uh, education workshop. So here come to the second session. So thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. No problem. Thanks. So maybe just one more thing. If you guys want to get in touch, I don't have enough class for everyone. Maybe I'll ask Suzanne for the information and then we're going to talk more on email. Exactly. All right, enjoy the rest of this. It's going to be super. <laughs> so first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Susanna Chung. I'm one of the team of the Green Team, one of the member of the Green Team. So I work in an art organization called Asia Art Archive. So here comes the section about art. So um, and besides me is a, is an artist called Java. Um, we always see contemporary art uh, is is a way we often see it, see it as a tool for change because artwork meant to be trying to provoke some passion and some other kind of change. So today, because of this reason, that's why we have this session here. So because we think that art can be something quite inspiring, to inspire students to think it as a means of inquiry, to think about uh, how can they relate themselves to the nature. So today we have Jaffa here to conduct this workshop. Uh, Jaffa is a sculptor specializing in large scale as specific, uh, site-specific work of mixed media sculptures and installation. So usually made with recycled material like crate, wood, or furniture and recycled fabric. And she also participates a lot in public art and community art program recently. And she got her, uh, her Bachelor and Master of Fine Arts in Chinese University. Currently she is the Senior Lecturer of Hong Kong Art School. So uh, because of her combined uh, experience in arts and education, <coughs> so uh, we look forward to her inspiring session. So, uh, thank you. Wow, quite nervous. Because um, uh, they mentioned that it's an environmental artist. So and then I was, I would say, um, I, I always call myself as an art worker. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's better to have a, uh, no, just feel better, and then you don't have much pressure. I, I don't expect people uh, how the people look at me. That will be better because sometimes I'm not very environmental friendly because I, I also buy the uh, paper cup coffee sometimes. <laughs> and um, so um, here um, you see the the three works together already. So you know uh, what I'm going to talk about actually. Um, because of the topic today is environment, um, art, but I put the people, I mean the human beings here, uh, because we all here, why we are doing something environmental friendly? Actually we are selfish, right? Because you want to have a sustainable um, planet for your next generation and next and next. So actually we are all selfish. So think about, um, why we are doing this is uh, because of uh, the trend or is something else so um i i don't know planting that much i mean i'm not farmer but uh, i was uh, impressed by uh, so many trips out overseas like uh, when i'm in tokyo i saw the those uh, um a rooftop a garden that is a huge garden so in, uh, in actually in quite a lot of uh, main buildings uh, in commercial center of uh, Tokyo in that in the center of the Tokyo there's a lot actually that is a very big business they help the people to build huge garden um, for the commercial building that's a very interesting um, but um, what I'm doing is not doing the planting but uh, it's not for for eating. My, my, my plant is just for something else. So let, let's see. And um, here is um, the quote from the artist. I, I like him quite a lot. Um, um, actually, I, I don't know how to express myself uh, sometimes. Uh, when the people look at my work, they always look curious. Um, is, uh, is that sellable or is that pretty enough to put in my home, to decorate my home? So I always upset those people because... Um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but um, this is uh, really what I want to say, is how your perception of a reality is changed. So I think it's better to start from here. Um, this is the... Oh, 
It's not good lighting. It actually is a very dark. Here is uh, just a warm. Maybe it's because my slide is not good enough. Um, here is the um, actually is a calling. So this is a core art ceremony I carved on the wood board. Um, all the wood. Oh, it's too dark. Anyway, so um, okay, just. Go. <laughs> it's okay. Look at that. Maybe off, please. Maybe off. Maybe off. Okay. So um, it's good actually. The light is more conservative. Yeah. And uh, this is um. Um, this is made by the Cray Wood, and uh, this work is made for an art fair. Uh, that is a booth uh, called Cancer Fund Raising uh, event. Uh, usually my work has um, never, never been sold in commercial uh, gallery. Uh, even I want to uh, display, no one buy that. <laughs> even my last, uh, last, my last solo is zero, <laughs> zero record. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is the work I I, I call the art for money, and uh, in art fair, you know, for those collectors. And uh, one collector come to me and say, Yafa, if you change that, I will buy that. Money for art. <laughs> and um, I, I I say, mm, okay, uh, that is interesting between you and me. I mean, there's an interesting difference between you and me because uh, our perception is totally different uh, to think about what is art. And, uh, but uh, in the beginning, I'm not doing anything for environmental friendly. I just, because I was um, so poor before. <laughs> I mean, now I'm still poor. <laughs> but it's much, much more poor before uh, because um, I'm from China, uh, from China. It's an immigrant family. so. Um, all, all my uh, you know, school life is uh, without any um, extra money for, for my creating art. Um, that is a very interesting point because now I'm doing a lot of education to those uh, uh, so-called poor family. I encourage them to, uh, to let their students to learn art. It's not a privilege um, uh, subject for uh, rich people. The poor people, they can learn art. Okay, but in the beginning, it's for budget concern, for the time saving, you know, yeah, because sometimes we have so many shows, sometimes, and then we need to do something uh, like a very intensive workshop, like a two month, two weeks in in Taiwan. I have to make a um, huge work already. So I'm thinking how to um, minimize the working time. Uh, also for for the ready-made, because some ready-made objects already have some meanings behind it. They represent a cultural, uh, um, uh, a huge uh, cultural background already, so I don't need to make something. Um, in the beginning, I make a lot of things. Uh, that is my um, the, the, my uh, first uh, workshop in Kuntang. That is um, 13 years ago. Um, so um, for my first show, I um, make those uh, wood carving work. Actually, um, uh, I'm quite lucky enough that people uh, like my work, um, and then they send me to um, some overseas workshop for, uh, for you know, kind of like a ex cultural exchange. <laughs> and then I um, actually I did learn a lot from those cultural exchange. Um, after that, actually, I give up all these beautiful, they say beautiful carved, beautiful paint sculptures. So I'm, I, um, I don't do that for 10 years. I, I, uh, in the last 10 years, I didn't do that. This, this month, actually the last uh, few months, I'm running, uh, I'm preparing a solo show, and then I, I did something paint, but it's totally different. So anyway, this is uh, my old work. And uh, um, from that time, I was um, still, um, this is my master uh, uh, graduation work. But you can see, actually, these two is remembered from uh, this, this one. 
because of the time, uh, I just got the notice uh, like uh, one month before. They told me you got the huge um, value because another master want to occupy the middle uh, space, and but uh, he only want to half to have half, and you have to take another half. And <laughs> and I don't see the reasons why because the one master want that, and then anyway so and then. Um, because at that time I'm the youngest one, so I, I just listen yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, so you see, this is a huge, it's a central library in, in the middle, you know. Uh, the, actually, there is a five, can cut into five small uh, gallery. But now that time, they open up all the, the, the venue, and then I have to occupy um, 13 meters. I mean, <laughs> and for the uh, fresh grad. That, that year I just graduated from uh, CU. And then I think, okay, for this work I worked for half a year. <laughs> for this work I only worked for one month. Yeah, so just, just uh, as I told you, it's for time, uh, saving my time. So I recycle, the first thing I do is I recycle my own work because most of my work is huge. So usually I will remake it, retrain that, or further develop that to be another one. Um, it's lucky or not, because uh, the people say, why your work is so big? Because I didn't know one buy that, so I have to make it bigger and bigger, so, um, <laughs> so, so and then people can see that <laughs> until someone buys that. So now these two um, um, you know, are stored in the Hong Kong Museum now. <laughs> I think they don't. They would buy this one, but they buy this too anyway. Um, also, just like what I say, there's some meanings uh, behind the work. Um, actually, this is a show in the uh, uh, Hong Kong U Museum. You know that is for a classic uh, 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 collection display, and uh, so um, I um, I want to display uh, something very cheap. So I. I I display this one, this little stuff lie like this more, and uh, I didn't tell them. It looks like a real antique, and uh, actually that at that time, okay, the whole show is like a playing a game with the Hong Kong U Museum. Sorry to <laughs> mention that. But that time, I just put my own small fake antique um, collection, and then mixed with my um, sculptures, uh, you know, like the uh, echo. Um, Conversations, um, anyway. So and then also uh, some. This is all my studying, early years studying. Wh why I'm using that is not because environment. It's uh, like uh, Taiwan. Uh, I I found this work. I find this uh, furniture because uh, our material fee is so limited, very limited. And then we have to think about you know how to how to occupy the space. So. And the whole space, I, I make it like a uh, um, house, like you know, like the old furniture. And moms are waiting for you um, because uh, this is a kind of um, it's called pine garden. It's a uh, uh, it's a Japanese uh, occupy uh, the area for the aircraft uh, pilot that time. So, but many people. So this is for. For, for their family to live there. So I imagine the family, like a mom and the, also a, the, um, the wife is waiting there, just like a mommy and coming out. And like. So this is all used by the furniture that is 19. No, that is uh, 2003. Uh, but the, um, in that time, I mean, from the SARS, from the Taiwan's experience, you know, I feel like why should I make art? I keep curious that because um, uh, the first thing is I thought of myself because none of my work can be sold. And no one asked my, price, my worst price. And uh, it just felt like, you know, it, I make so many things and then store in my studio. Is that worth it? If the art is not going out, you keep doing that. Is that worth it to make it? Because it sounds like uh, you are making a trash, right? Um, so um, when I got a chance in Bangladesh, um, uh, actually they invite me as a sculptor to um, 
to give the workshop of uh, contemporary uh, wood sculpture because uh, actually they have so many wood sculpture but very classic and then in, uh, made by very nice wood and um, and um, because I asked him if, if is there any uh, recycled wood or something I can use because if you want something new idea so that is my idea and then um, they say no everything you can buy that we can uh, we can take you to buy something and then um, actually all the material is so cheap and um, the next question is where will this work go I mean after the workshop and then they say and then they just say the street just you know, all the trash on the street, actually. They don't have a uh, rubbish bin, they don't have a uh, trash station. All the, st all the stuff on the street. And, um, and then I, I, you know, that time I'm thinking the, the questions I just told you, I, what is art for? And then uh, I think maybe, maybe we can think another way to do something. And then I, um, and then I take a, take a rickshaw every day, actually. Um, because uh, like a single foreigner girl, you have to sit in the rickshaw all the time, you cannot walk. Otherwise, they will always uh, worry about you. And uh, I start to ask my translator to about these uh, rickshaws uh, stories. And then start all the stories that later on I wrote in the magazine that which never published. So, and then uh, I understand a lot of uh, stories um, and uh, um, behind those people. And um, and then I make this work after after the wash uh, after the display uh, even like this. So I try to make every piece of my work can be recycled in the end, not recycle recycle. It's like a something useful. So uh, like um, I brought this uh, second hand uh, fitness uh, <laughs> cycle bike from the shop. Actually, no one buy that. It put there forever, but they, uh, they, you know, I'm foreigner, so they, they sell, you know, sold in a very good price for them. I think it's fine.